I started cooking at the age of 15 over on Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. From there, I cooked in multiple different places, ranging from bar and grills to fine dining restaurants. Ended up in Athens, working at a very nice restaurant, the Ohio University Inn. I worked there with a lot of certified chefs, and they uh, pushed me to become a certified chef for myself. After graduating Hawking College, I moved back to uh, the Dayton area. I've been the chef at the Nutter Center, the Hilton Garden Inn. I opened a couple restaurants with some friends. Found myself at the Dayton Convention Center for the past five years. After being in the business for such a long time, I figured I might have a good grasp on it and figured I wanted to start it myself. With a food truck, it's one of the cheapest ways to get my foot in the door, build myself up to a restaurant one of these days. So with the menu, I wanted to do something a little different. So I revolved the entire menu around croquettes. Croquette is something been around for hundreds of years, but it's very unutilized here in the Ohio area. The definition is very broad. It's a combination of meat, vegetables, cheese, really anything combined into a ball or cylinder or any sort of shape, breaded and deep fried. Usually served with some sort of sauce on top. We have a Reuben, which is our favorite. And then I really revolved the menu around that. I served some local beef sliders as well as utilizing some local products and vegetable wraps and stuff like that. Our current market has been the brew pub industry. They partner with us very well. Uh, we go to Eudora Brewing Company in Kettering and they serve the beer, we serve the food. We go to business parks during the week and we can do any sort of off-site catering as far as weddings, birthday parties, larger events as well. Started the business in September of last year and we're trying to just get the ball rolling here through the winter months, even though it's been so cold, and trying to get everything in place for the spring of this year. I am a Moraine resident for the past five and a half years. Me and my wife are both members of the Payne Recreation Center. We go there almost every morning about 6 a.m. to do our morning workout. Food trucks in Dayton really became popular about a year ago almost. Uh, about early last year, there was only about five or six of them. Coming out this season, we're looking at almost 23 to 25 food trucks. So you can definitely call something like that a boom. The Dayton area has been supporting of the food trucks. They're trying to work with us as far as places we can go, where we can set up without upsetting anybody or going on public property where we're not supposed to be. Five years from now, another truck, if not possibly a freestanding restaurant somewhere. That's, that's the goal is to start small and work your way up to something you can afford. Food trucks are still a, a run business. They might not be a brick and mortar place, but it's the first steps that people take before they have a brick and mortar place. You can't round up a million dollars or two and start a restaurant. You have to start somewhere, whether it just be operating out of your house or in this case, buying a truck and putting your kitchen in there and taking it to where people want you. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under hungerpains937. And our website also has all that information. It's hungerpains937.com. Our phone number is 937-985-7845.